My name is Greg Levine. I'm um, the contract veterinarian for NOAA Pacific Island Regional Office over here on Oahu. But we also respond to um, stranded whales, monk seals, and sea turtles throughout the Hawaiian Islands. Today was an amazing day here at Dolphin Quest because we got to get together with all of our NOAA partners, the actual people in the roles that answer the phone call when there's a stranded whale or dolphin on the beach. So today was really a celebration of coming together as a group, really trying to improve our techniques for helping stranded whales and dolphins here in the islands. Dolphin Quest has been such a big partner through the years with a lot of these trainings and contribute these type of experiences that really make the network work. This training encompassed so many attributes. First and foremost, they got to interact with the family of dolphins at Dolphin Quest and learn normal anatomy and like get some vitals from an animal that's not sick or stranded. And that was a really unique opportunity. So we had people practice marking a real animal, which is something that we might do in a stranded event before we release it back into the wild so that you can identify them if you're gonna observe them. Then they went up onto the lanai, they went up a, a flight of stairs and they took some binoculars and their job was to monitor animals, take a respiratory rate, and really see how difficult it is with the sun and the glare to actually follow an animal even if they're marked. The next station, our responders got to get in the water with a trainer and a dolphin and actually got to put a hand underneath the dolphin's chest to palpate and get a heart rate. And that's important for them to experience because more than likely, they're gonna need to tell a responder that's holding an animal where to put their hand to get a heart rate. Finally, we did an anatomy, a landmark, a vital sign station. I worked with each of the responders and many of the veterinarians. Every person got to feel, we say palpate, the flukes, the tail of the dolphin to where we'd actually um, get a blood sample. Lastly, a group of our um, responders got to work with a trainer and Lono, one of the dolphins here, and work on the voluntary stretcher behavior. And just to see that relationship that the behaviorists have with those animals and to be part of Lono swimming up in that stretcher and lifting them just an inch out of the water. Uh, and I think that was a big highlight for a lot of folks. Everyone was feeling really grateful to have a location like this um, to work with healthy animals that are cared for well and, and in such a positive environment where animals are honored so, so deeply is I think everyone really left here feeling a great connection to these animals and appreciation for their contribution to our stranding network.